y'all it's your girl Apollonia Cross coming at you guys with a new plan with me and today I'm going to be showing you guys the new setup of my wellness planner um, if you guys have seen my catch-all planner this is the same black croc cover I just decided to revamp my wellness planner and put it in this versus my catch-all so I'm going to be talking you guys and doing a flip through of this with you all and to show you the new setup and I hope you guys like it if this is you guys is first time tuning into my channel welcome I hope you guys enjoy this video and if you haven't already done so make sure you hit the subscribe button so that way you can also be on the lookout and be one of the first to know when I post new content okay all right so let's dive in so this is my wellness planner and it's completely revamped because I originally was repurposing an older planner and I just wasn't as happy with it as I thought I was going to be I was really doing my best not to buy any more of the planner things and it just wasn't working out so I decided to revamp some of the planners that I was using in my catch-all and repurpose them for how I really wanted to use it in my wellness planner. So let's go ahead and pop this open and I will show you guys how this is gonna be. And this is gonna be my spring setup. So some of the things are very, very similar as you guys can already see. I did keep my Minnie Mouse cheetah print, which I love her, she's awesome. She's just awesome. <laughs> and I have my 10 affirmations of a spiritual queen. I love having this here because it's something that I can look to once I first open it and I can just read these out. And these are not written as normal affirmations would be where it states I am or I will or anything to where you are affirming that something will be happening or that you are something. But you can still totally reword these and sometimes that's what I'll do or sometimes I just read them and use these as a reference for a reminder for myself. And behind this, I have my daily affirmations of a spiritual queen from um, this jewel box collection that is from Isa Ellis Jewels. And I really, really loved using this. It's just a very simple, small journaling notebook that came with the, I want to say it was January's release. And each day she has like a question and it has some space for journaling. And it's just really, really nice and something that I love to use to help me kind of pick one page and reflect on that for the day. Now you could totally, if you have this too, you can totally use it as a one a day type of thing until the book is done, or you can just do it like all in one day. It's totally up to you, but I am using this right now as a daily thing. And so this right now, let me actually go ahead and pop this out of the cover because I really, really loved how the, the setup was, but I wanted to, like I said, change some things around so that way my wellness planner really reflected on how I am focusing and being more intentional with how I'm focusing on my health and wellness this year. And so definitely because I am starting over after having two kids, be willing to start over. This is like the perfect cover, like in the best quote to remind myself that I am a clean slate right now and I need to allow myself the grace and the patience to start over. And this is from the um, Fancy Plans Co. and AMXO collection collab that just came out as well. And you can get this either in a cover or a dashboard. I went ahead, I thought I ordered the dashboard, but it came in with a cover and I was like, all right, well, that works for me. And so with my wellness planner, because I have different sections in here as I will explain them, um, this is going to be more of my, well, let me just kind of flip through the pages and that way I can show you as I'm going through. So this section, I'm focusing more on mindfulness for sure with my exercises and I really don't like how this reflection is on here but that's okay oh you can't even really tell there we go so I really love having this balance word of the year card right here as a reminder because you have to have balance in your life so I definitely needed that and this is um the February and this layout is I have an undo list right here actually let me slow down a little bit 
but this is my undo list. This is also from Fancy Plans Co. I really love this idea of an undo list because we're always so busy with doing all the freaking things. How about we stop doing some things? And a lot of the things that I wrote down were more of a mindset thing for me. And so those were that's my focus is your undo things can be totally up to you but these are definitely the things that I want to work on and then on the back of this it has like a habit thing like a habit tracker on here which I'm not that great at tracking as you can obviously see but definitely going to get better at that but I really just more so loved this as a reminder and a reference for sure so there's that and then I was doing or I am doing the self-care challenge what do we call it a self-care challenge or a self-love challenge I don't remember and the baby found my sticky notes no baby <laughs> so I have my daughter here with me as I'm filming and she's just roaming around on the bed yeah you're roaming on the floor so I decided to put in foot well I had already started off this wellness this wellness um challenge or the self-love challenge in the good habits layout from, that I got from the Happy Planner. And this was originally supposed to be used for a personal development and tracking any trainings and my progress on those. And to be honest, it just really, I wasn't using it whatsoever on that. And so I figured, well, let me go ahead and instead flip this and use this for my pers my um, productivity in like my catch-all planner where I can list out the different activities and things I want to do for the day, check those off, and then I can track my progress for that instead. And that's how I plan on using it in my catch-all. But since I had already did this monthly, I went decided to go ahead and just pop this in here. And this is the current week. And so I'm kind of in the process of covering some of these things up and adding in like my workouts that I did since I'm focusing more on yoga and stretching out. Um, my body and my lower back I um, did that and so I have to put today's um, yoga practice in here too so but this is how I'm going to use this for the rest of the month at least and then this is going to be my workout section and so here is the next tab and these are going to be where I'm going to be planning out all of my workouts and using this for my weekly progress check for a um, March through May. And now these sheets are also a part of the Fancy Plans Co. and AMXO collection. And I got to pick my daughter up really quickly. But this is a part of that collection too. I just really love the florals, especially for spring. And I really love that it's like a simple weekly layout and there's no bright colors. So whatever stickers I decide to use or a kit I decide to use, it will still match. And so I really, really like that about this. And so these you can order. I ordered one pack and I think it comes with eight sheets and they're back to back, to back if I can remember right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, wait. Eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six. Oh, okay. So it actually comes with eight pages with printed front to back so that's 16 pages so that's really really good because you could totally completely transform your entire body in eight weeks if you choose to and then I in the back of this after that I wanted to leave myself some space for like just to reflect on how my workout was and how I felt afterwards um or just any other things that I wanted to put down here I just wanted to give myself that space to kind of evaluate my thoughts and write down here and reflect. So this first section of my wellness planner is specifically going to be for working out and um, for like the physical aspect of my health and wellness. Now, I did decide to also go with the transformer layout like I did in my catch-all. So let me flip that. And I, like I said, I loved this. If you guys watched my catch-all video, this is the same exact cover, same exact cover. And I actually decided to use the same planner, which was the horizontal layout that came with this cover, but I'm just going to use it differently. And so like the color scheme is just life right now. All right, so this section, how I'm going to be using this, this is going to be my mental, emotional, and spiritual health section. Now, some of you guys might be like, wait, what? Why are you doing all that? It's because everything and whenever and if you decide to take my wellness planning course, you will 
understand this foundation. Everything starts from your center, your spiritual, your mental, and your emotional health. And then it manifests into the physical aspects of your life. No matter what category that might be, whether it's in your finances, how your body is, how your body feels. If you guys have ever tried to lose weight, you guys get it. If your mind is not ready to lose weight, your body ain't going to do it, okay? Just period, point blank. That's just where it all starts. So this is where I, why I decided to have the two different sections and separate them. So let's go ahead and dive right in and I'll show you. You are just clingy butt, clingy, clingy butt. Thank you. Okay, so I love having this croc, and this is just like a card stock, but it's like croc embossed, and it just fits and matches with the whole croc cover and everything. Just like everything croc, please. Like, I'm in love with it. And then I have this marble vellum that's really, really, really pretty over my goals. And I decided to go ahead and add my goals vision board right here. I decided to add my goals and vision board here and put a little pocket for an affirmation card. Like this morning, I just went through my affirmation cards and I picked another one. I read it out loud and I uh, then I put it right here so that way it's in the beginning of my planner and I can think about that affirmation as I am flipping through my vision board. Now it is fully decorated, but I'm still yet to write out like my very specific goals and vision on here just haven't made it a priority to make the time to do it because I really want to make sure whenever I set my goals, I'm very intentional with it. I don't want to just mindlessly put out goals. Okay, and then with this sheet, now this is a sheet from Cloth and Paper and I actually really love just for things for me when I want to unplug. And unplugging is so important because we're so, it's so easy, especially since quarantine's happened. This is definitely one of my, more um, habits that I want to undo is scrolling through my phone, randomly online shopping just because I want to have a life outside of my four walls and these kids. And I love my kids dearly, but y'all get it. Y'all know. We just want to break. And so these are some other things that I want to do, like any new shows or series that I might want to watch, any audiobooks or podcasts that I want to listen to while I'm on my morning walk or something, any physical books and stories that I want to read. Um, listen to any um, crafts or um, if I'm feeling creative and I want to just bulk decorate my planner or um, I feel like I'm ready to design a new sticker kit or something I can go ahead and put those on there uh -oh. and then too I love this too because it has things to eat things to see to do and to learn so I really love this for a great like list of things to do to unplug. I've yet to actually like set one up on how I wanted to use it yet. You okay? I have yet to set one up how I wanted to use it yet, but I, um, I'm going to definitely be using that. Now, this is my monthly sheet. I'm not 100% sure how I'm going to use that, but Okay, so with this layout, I wanted to use this for daily gratitude. And at first I was originally using it, and I, as you can see, I kind of started to pre-decorate. I was using it for my catch-all and using it for list and doing a focus here and appointments or whatever. And I was like, you know what? I really just wasn't in love with the layout for this. And I knew that I wanted to start doing daily gratitude journaling as a part of my morning wellness routine. And then, so as we all know, I'm like, dang it, now I need to buy another planner. And that was my first thought. But I was like, you know what? I really don't want to go down that rabbit hole because otherwise that's gonna be another 40 bucks or another planner. And then I just didn't wanna do all that. And so I remembered that I had this one. And since I wasn't really in love with how I was using it before, I was like, well, let me go ahead and just swap them out. So I'm excited now because definitely this is more of like a journaling type of thing or if you want to practice hand lettering and maybe I might want to do that too. Like if I choose a word or whatever I wanted to write in here, thank you for family or something and I letter that and then write on something that I'm grateful for, which actually that's not a bad idea because I do want to also practice and start hand lettering. I've had my book to practice for a long time and I just... I've had kids versus um, been able to spend a lot of time practicing hobbies. So 
now I have a tool that I can use for that. So I'm excited to start this and I've already um, set this up from March through May in here. So this is set up for spring. And then my second section here, which I have a clear dashboard um, divider for that. This is going to be my affirmations and word of the day section. And if you guys watch any of my other wellness planners, um, my wellness plan with me is before I like to choose an affirmation card and then kind of break down a word for the day. Very similar to how I kind of just mentioned for my daily gratitude, but that's totally going to be very different. That's going to be on a specific daily way to reflect on the day and make sure that I find something in that day that I was happy for even if it's a bad day what lesson did I learn from the bad day but this section as you guys can see I choose a word of the day I write down the affirmation and then I kind of break down how that word applies to me and how I can use that word in my week in my day and definitely this helps me be a lot more intentional and so i wanted to continue on with that practice for sure and so i went ahead and i decided to go with this layout which is um also from the fancy plans amxo collection and this has a normal monthly but also has the vertical type of a layout I was I was telling you so um, or as just like the other one you guys seen so I'll be able to still write my word of the day right here and then break it on down and make sure that I'm doing application for it now it's not decorated or anything so I'm not 100% sure how I'm going to decorate that and write around the world the words and stuff but that's not the important part the important part is the intention behind it and I feel like this layout since I did love it before for my daily affirmations I feel like it's really going to work a lot and so I really, really love this. And so this is also set up through May. I, but I don't have any dividers. That's one thing that I do need to order and get. Now this is like a revamp, like I said, like in the middle of me, of the month of February, I was like, you know what, this isn't working out. So I decided to go ahead and swap it before I got all of the things. But now that it's set up, I know what else I need to get to add into this to make it completely complete. So now let's talk about why the transformer planning. Because that way, whenever I am focusing on something like in the, when I'm about to go and get in my workout and I wanna focus on that aspect, I can flip it straight to that section. But when I want to focus on my mental and emotional health, this is the main section that I'm going to be on versus having it just left open on my desk because one thing I like to do is I like to clean up my office and get my desk ready for the next morning so this is going to be the very first thing that I see I pull out my wellness affirmation journal right in that I'll put it back and then I go straight into my mental health section and then read my morning affirmation and swap out the card if I need to review my goals and manifest those then go into writing my daily gratitude for the day or the night before and then go into my affirmation and write that down on here just trying to give you guys like a general flip through right so that write that down here and then once i'm done with that now it's time to work out because a lot of times what people will try to do and what i also did just keeping it real is i would go straight to my workout and completely forget that other part and i would not make time for getting my mental health ready or try to do it with the kids and that is a lot harder because your kids are constantly asking you for questions and all the things so all of your mental capacity is with kids, which is why we call it mom brain. So to avoid that, I wanna make sure I get my mental done correctly and then go to the physical because the physical things I can do with my kids. Like I can do yoga with my kids. I could put her in a boppy or something like that. And if she makes a little fuss or whatever, I could just pick her up or do something like that. That doesn't bother me. But if I'm trying to really focus on something and get my mind right, then I have to have 100% attention. 
So yeah, I really, really, really love this new setup. It makes me happy. It gives me all the feels and especially with my intention on how I'm going to be using it. Like I share with you guys, I feel like this is going to work out very, very, very well. So I'm so excited for this setup and this is my setup for spring. Now, if you guys really loved and enjoyed this video, then please make sure you hit the like button, comment below and let me know your thoughts on this setup and how you guys liked it. If you have any questions on my upcoming course or wellness planning in general and you're like this seems like it would be a great idea but i don't even know where to start let me know make sure you drop those in the comments for me and i'll get back to you guys and don't forget before you head out hit the subscribe button so you guys can get my next video and also make sure you hit the notification so you get that ding all right so thank you guys for watching I'll talk to you guys later bye